Price. Ladies and gentlemen, eh, if you guys, I have been doing this for a long time. I got up passing the Kaungoro road and I got up. Why am I doing this? Why would I want to do this? Why am I speaking up about Zimbabwe? Why am I? Why in Jugu who couldn't show who could they about Zimbabwe? I got up and I got up. But one thing came to my mind. The analogy. This is the time when I've 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 lost myself. I lost myself, and I I became the other. I became that woman where I was too much. I was thinking about Karaba, Papa Bridge. I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this. I became the other person. I started to agonize in my life. When I went back home this past few months, I I I I felt the pain in the eyes when I looked at them. Those women, I struggled with life just to struggle. Could one could one want a dollar? They would have go through the day. I thought about them and I felt them. So that may be came to one decision. It's so so citizens in Zimbabwe. We have the rights. We have the rights. The constitution in section 13 allows us. Which in Mbumu. You go to the monitor, you can't come to the Tilaki the Ima wage delay. Tilaki the Ima records. A water and sanitation. Tilaki the Ima card. Tilaki the Ima card. The constitution allows us to ask for and to demand accountability from local authorities. In Mbumu, as citizens. Chine mbume ya citizens, ya kutia wala kukukia kwa hivu za kanzu kutu Kwa sayi, musiri kutura mama contractors Chwa gai contractor anu gazira mpura Chine mbume ya kufura the national water police Toi tarisa, toi wongorora, toi na kutia The papi patinga batire, patinga chwa gai mama private and public partnerships Ma PVP za ya The papi patinga, patinga batire kanzu, the papi patinga pinde isus Selang, chine mbume yoyo the Papa Nga Gadrima Basa is a, is, is a community which Tunguiza is probably the third largest urban center in the country. Why can we not build a media city which Tunguiza? Talk, talk Gadrima Basa in media and many other literal related industries. There's no reason why. There's no reason why to see when they are buried. There is no reason why every time a politician is born when he must die during campaign to him, hallelujah, 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 go say you must die. But when we empower our people with electricity to study through the night, when we empower our people in a freedom before, during and after speech, politicians won't bring Mazai during during my campaigns. They will bring ideas. Because Mazai is not there. I thought long and hard about this. I lose 1,000, over 1,000 jobs for the one woman in the street. During Muramba Trina. Ladies and gentlemen, I've decided, in Indian Zangu for one, I've decided to leave my pseudo comfort, a good diaspora. I've decided to leave and come back home and create the real and homely comfort. Just like many other of you guys, many millions and millions of you guys, I can see your home. They say home is best, but you guys left home to go and look for comfort elsewhere. Because home was no longer the best place to be. When I was on the street, I saw 18. But I ended up on the street with each other because home was no longer the best. We need to bring back the best into home. That is why I've made a decision, ladies and gentlemen. I've made a decision in Nini to 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 draft for the front line. I'm going to draft for the for the front line this time around. I'm going to stand and be counted. I choose to stand with my community and be counted. That's why I've decided this time around to, to, to contest as a member of parliament for Chitumwiza. No. Not as an independent, like what the system wants to make me believe that I'm independent. No. As an interdependent candidate. I depend on the community and the community depends on me. We depend on each other. Gone are the days of the, 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 the one-man band MPs. Gone are the days of that. Gone are the days of of, of, of political bottlenecks and bureaucracies in our council. Gone are the days. Now we want a council that is run and where the people are custodians of that council. Where the municipality and whoever is in there is answerable at any time. They have answers for the people. That is the community one. And I'm convinced, I'm convinced that we can achieve an accountable, a prosperous, a 21st century Chichunguiza. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage everyone, every single person who shares this passion and dinner who shares this dream and dinner to go and register and vote. 
Thank you.